out there, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about spaghetti westerns, in particular three of the best. We have The Big Gun Down, we have Django, and finally Once Upon a Time in the West. And let me just first start off by saying I find it fascinating that all three films were directed by a different Sergio from Italy. It must have been something in the water with those Sergios. But we'll go ahead and start with The Big Gun Down, uh, a really good movie that I would like to just give a shout out to uh, another fellow YouTuber, Todd E. Walnuts. He uh, has an amazing collection and does some really cool collection videos. And one of them is on his Grindhouse releasing uh, Blu-rays. And uh, this was one of his entries. And after hearing and seeing that video, I looked this movie up and uh, found that it was still available and picked it up as a blind buy. And it's terrific. It's, uh, it's a really interesting movie with a fascinating, very, actually very uh, political plot. Uh, it's not overt, but it's there. It, this one is directed by um, a gentleman by the name of uh, Sergio Soyima. And as you can see, it's got uh, Lee Van Cleef, who of course was in Good, Bad, and the Ugly. Uh, and then Thomas uh, Millian right here. And this is a just a fantastic release by Grindhouse. They have, of course, the slipcover. Then there's the or original uh, Italian cover art. Um, then you've got this great booklet in here, which goes through a lot of press materials and, and uh, essays and so forth. You've got the reversible cover art. You've got four discs. You have the 95-minute uh, expanded U.S. cut. You have um, the 110-minute long director's cut. Then you've got the 95-minute expanded U.S. cut. And then finally, you've got the um, soundtrack, which incidentally, um, or coincidentally, Ennio Morricone, who of course has done, uh, you know, just uh, some of the best scores ever for Hollywood, he composed the score for this one and in Once Upon a Time in uh, the West. And just, you know, they're terrific. But I, I tell you, I think his score in Once Upon a Time in the West is one of his best. It's just, it's amazing. I just recently uh, rewatched that and was struck by how beautiful that composition was. But this film is, uh, you know, it's uh, dubbed and it's, you know, so there is a, a little element of, you know, you kind of get used to as you're watching it, the, uh, the dubbing, it's not, uh, it, it takes you out of the film a little bit, but then once it, you kind of settle down into it, it's just a really well done film. It's got excellent acting. It has uh, a pretty interesting antagonist. Um, there is uh, some very interesting, there are some interesting twists and turns to the plot that you don't expect, and it has a rousing finale. Um, and again, this disc just looks great. It's based uh, on a new 2K digital restoration of the original uncensored English language version. Uh, it's got newly expanded with three additional scenes. Then you've got the complete 110 minute director's cut and uh, in English and in Italian. I really enjoyed, I. I I watched the um, the uh, English with the, the subtitles, and then I dipped into the Spanish. The one interesting thing, or the the Italian version, but I, I find that the uh, what what is interesting is that with the Italian version, sometimes the the language. Um, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, there is some Spanish in there as well. So I feel like okay, if you're going to do that, just go ahead and dub it over and just make it all one language. Um, that's just my own take on it. Um, certainly others may have different feelings, but just as a whole, this film really surprised me by how damn good it is. And I'd like to thank uh, Mr. Walnuts and his uh, channel for, you know, uh, introducing this film uh, into my uh, universe. Now, Django, of course, uh, I have seen the Quentin Tarantino version and I enjoyed it, although with like a lot of Quentin's films, I feel like he just needs a damn editor because I think while he can just put some of the most amazing dramatic scenes uh, on film, uh, collectively I feel like 
his one Achilles heel is he's just too damn long. He doesn't know when to quit. Um, and I also think that it, it got a little too egregious and distasteful um, with some of the uh, the racist elements. Now I realize that, you know, the, hey, that's, that's part of that era and it's just a, a sad and tragic um, stain on our history. But at the same time, I almost feel like playing it for jokes was just a little odd. I mean, I know that he's being ironic to a certain degree, but I just didn't care for the tone of the film. But I thought Leo DiCaprio, Christoph Waltz, and um, Jamie Foxx all gave great performances. I mean, it was an entertaining movie, but I, I tell you what, the original uh, film, Django, was uh, quite a pleasure to watch. And this Arrow video release just looks and sounds amazing. This is actually based on a 4K scan. Um, and the, the lead actor, uh, Frank Nero, I believe his name is, does a terrific job in the part. And it's an interesting story. I didn't know where it was going, and I thought it ended very well. It was a highly entertaining film. And again, this is Sergio Corbucci. Um, and as you can see here, this Arrow video, it's not the 4K edition that recently came out. This is just the standard Blu-ray, but I believe they're both based on the same 4K transfer. Uh, but as you can see here, they you know do a great job with their, their um, reversible cover art and the disc art. And there's just a bevy of special features as per usual with Arrow. I think Arrow Video does just a tremendous job with their releases. Uh, I don't particularly, you know, so I think some of their films are a little weak. Uh, but, you know, that's just my own personal opinion. I feel like they don't always do the best job curating. But when they release a film, they give it uh, a lot of respect and um, really, I think, do a fantastic job with, um, you know, those who are interested in that in movies uh, of their ilk, uh, they won't be disappointed. It's, they're universally uh, very well done. And finally, uh, Sergio Leone's Once Upon a Time in the West. Of course, this is generally regarded as one of the best Westerns ever made. And I will tell you that uh, sitting down and watching this recently for the first time, I was struck by just how beautiful the film is. I mean, every scene looks like a piece of art. And when you overlay that wonderful uh, Ennio Morricone score, it's just a stunning picture to behold. Uh, and of course it features Henry Fonda playing uh, against type as a bad guy. And it's got a, a, a youngish Jason Robards and Charlie Bronson as well, as, long, as well as Claudia uh, Cardinal, who I hadn't ever seen before, but I thought she did a great job in her part. Um, and this is a, a just a Blu-ray release. It's not a 4K, but I believe it's a. Um, this looks to be a Region B disc, but yet it played fine on my Region A player. Um, you know, I I find this movie to probably be the best of the three, just because it's just so. Uh, you know, the the craftsmanship behind this film is just amazing. It's just really a, a well-made film. Now I will confess that. Um, it's a little slow, it's definitely a slow burn, and it takes a while for the plot to sort of unfold so that you know just what the hell is going on. But once it does, it's incredibly rewarding. Um, I think that the big gun down and Django are more entertaining in a lean and mean way. So if you just wanna sit down and just watch an entertaining spaghetti western, um, those two may be the ones you go to first, but if you wanna watch a piece of art that is very entertaining and just uh, just a beauty to behold. Uh, do yourself a favor and check this out. Um, I definitely recommend it. So on that note, I do uh, want to wrap things up here. Just hope everyone out there as well, please do stay safe, be kind, and by all means, keep watching cinema.